Hi guys, Miles here, Paradise and a Pop. We got a box. We got a little dead, but we got a box. And this box is from Kelly's Hoyas. We did a little plant swap, and I sent her some plants, and she sent me some plants, and this is what we have. Um, let's see what I'm gonna do. Sorry, but I had crossed everything out. It's nice and safe. Go ahead and open this up and see how it looks inside. We've got some stuff ready to go, so I can. Stuff ready to go so I can put whatever we have in the box away. Scratch there and a little scratch on this side of the box. And then we're gonna do the main one. As you know, I don't usually do plant mail. Because I think the second YouTuber I plant swapped with, the first person was uh Lily, the piece of Lily plants. Uh oh, look at that. Right off the bat, when I opened the box, there's an adorable little card. Look at that. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Kelly. I'm so excited to see what you sent me. Let's read the card. Let's see what it says. Oh, it's so bright. I love it. All right. I just want to read it first here. Ooh. Oh, sweet. Sure, a little personal note here. I'm not going to read it online or uh, on YouTube here. So that's really cool. Thank you, Kelly. I'll make sure and take really good care of that Zingonian you sent me. So let's see what I got because that's the only thing she said in that note. So we're just going to pull up in the paper. Oh, goodness. It's a whole box of plants. <gasps> the Baltic Blue. I've been looking and waiting and wanting this. Holy cow. Ha ha ha, where'd my scissors go? Oh, Kelly, I'm so excited. <laughs> I see a lot of beautiful plants in here. I'm really excited to see them all. Oh my gosh. This is a plant that has eluded Las Vegas for some reason. We're gonna hopefully be able to get it out of here. Oh, I guess I should do it here. Oh, Kelly, I'm so excited. Are my scissors just that? Crappy, there we go. Okay, got it particularly. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, perfect. The roots are nice. They're not soggy. See, I think I said, oh, look at that. Look at the size of the roots on that. Holy, holy, Kelly, thank you so much. Oh, it's so beautiful. That's an Epipremnum Panatum Baltic Blue. Not to be confused with the Cebu Blue. All right, one second. I gotta get the water and put in those cups. Cause these guys are dry, dry, dry. Oh. Get these guys soaking. Do, do, do. Nice water. I prepared this water. So there's no chlorine. A little bit of that. Super Thrive, holy cow, Kelly, I'm already excited, we're one plant in. There's so many little plants in here, holy cow. What is this? Sahoya Pachyclata, wow. That is thick and meaty, feel that leaf. It's pretty nice, huh? Look how woody that stem is. Yeah. Looks like it has active growth point. Oh goodness, all right, so this one, because Hoyas, I love Hoyas. Um, but I don't know all their names, so I want to make sure I don't lose or confuse. Here we go. I think I got your bag and method figured out, Kelly. I got that one open fairly easy. Holy cow. I almost wonder if I should put this in a prop box instead of up here. Let's see what kind of roots you got going on. Because if you've got big roots, you're going to get potted up in the next 
week or so. Oh my goodness, Kelly. Oh my goodness, look at the roots on that guy. And it's one piece. Oh, I love it. I just adore it. Oh. All right, here, let's put it here. I think we're just going to keep you in water. There we go. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh. Kelly, I'm, I'm so, so excited. excited. You're, You're so, so generous. generous. This is so cool. I think I'm going to need more glasses, though, after I look at this. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so let's keep that tag. Oh, Kelly, I'm keeping all your tags. Because they're just cute as can be, and your handwriting is so adorable. I wish I had handwriting that nice. I hope you could read my handwriting. But this is another Hoya, too. What is this one? Croniana. Oh, my gosh. Kelly, you hooked me up. This is another Hoya I've been kind of looking for. I do like a Hoya. I am liking these guys. Holy cow, I can't wait to see the roots. I might put you in there with that other one. Just cause I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Wow. Glasses out. I have to get some more glasses. There's a lot of plants in this box. Whole lot of plants. Oh my gosh, look at the roots on this guy. All right, the way this is rooting, I'm going to put this in the propagation box for now. And I will deal with that guy later for potting up. So I do want to give everybody a couple weeks. Kind of acclimate. They all came from uh, back east. And I want to make sure that they get used to our humidity here. So I'm just going to keep that one like that for right now. All right, let's see. Who's next on top? Oh, is this the pepperonia? Oh, she says she's having trouble with this. Oh, it is fuzzy. Fuzzy, fuzzy. It looks like a couple leaves didn't make it, but that's okay. Yeah, this is a pepperonia incona. And this one, she's, she's having trouble, but I'm going to root it up. I'm determined. I think I've got pepperonias figured out. And this one's going to go in the prop box, too. Oh my gosh, Kelly. <laughs> Come on. All right. It's free. Oh, maybe this will... She's doing this in water. Maybe that's not what it likes. Maybe it would prefer... Or did it root? Maybe it rooted and she didn't tell me. I'll be excited. Oh, it's so fuzzy to touch this. The stem's even fuzzy. I didn't realize that. Oh, it did start rooting. All right, it did start rooting. Um, I think I'm just going to put that in a little bit of water for right now. And then we'll look in the best way to propagate this, because the leaves are really thick and fuzzy. I'm just going to put a little bit at the bottom. Yeah, I feel the leaves on that one. They're very tactile. Holy moly, what do we have here? A vanilla orchid, yay! Look at that sucker growing too. Wow. <laughs> this will climb the wall. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Kelly, you have a great selection of plants. I'm so excited we did this swap. And I feel like I should have sent you probably ten times more. Actually, ah, uh, come on. Here, let's see. Do I have a better pair of scissors here? Sharper. There we go. Oh, vanilla orchid. Very excited for this. Very excited. I have not had a vanilla orchid in years. The last one I had was like eight feet tall. We had high ceilings, and it went to the top. I bet you this is rooted nicely. Let's see. Oh, it's got some roots. Oh, it feels like it attached to the paper towel a little bit. Oh, it does have a nice long root. Wow. Kelly, that's a really healthy specimen. I love it. Let's see. I guess I'll put this one here for now. Just kind of get these guys hydrated. And for now, I'll get some more vessels. Oh my gosh, I can't get over this Baltic blue. It's just so pretty. That leaf is so dark blue. 
Let's see, what have we got here? Sotophaya memoriae. Now, memora. Hoya memora? It's cute. It looks like it's uh, like a thinner leafed. Almost looks like a publicalyx, but it's not. You can tell it's not. Let's see if we can get this one out of here. Put these better scissors. Boy, oh boy. I will say, Kelly, all the plants came looking great. Everything in that box is looking fantastic. Ooh, I just saw something that I'm... Am I seeing what I think I'm seeing? Holy moly. Oh boy, look at this. Wow. So cute. Oh, it's two pieces of... And look at the roots. Nice roots. Everything's looking fantastic, Kelly. All right, so this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get more glasses. So many plants in here. I don't mind putting multiple plants together, but since I don't know what a lot of these are, especially when it comes to the Hoya, I kind of gotta keep the names for them. Oh, you don't like that at all, do you? All right, we'll get you a better vessel. Wow, how many more plants do we have? Hoya Obscura! Oh, that's a good one. That is one of the parents of the Hoya Sunrise. Hoya Potsii. I'm just going to kind of go through here and pull out and see how much more I need to prepare. That Philodendron. White Stripe. That's so pretty. I'm going to put that with a piece of... Uh, Lily sent me some of that White Stripe, too. So I'm going to put those together. So that's three. Oh, look at this. Look at that leaf. Oh, and it's feel that. That is something black margin. Hoya Bertonii. But that's the black margin. Oh my god, look how pretty that is. The black edges on the leaves. Not just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Wow. So that's four. Oh my goodness. <coughs> Five. This is Philodendron Brazil is really cute piece. I was wanting to start a new piece of this too. So this Brazil is here just great in Las Vegas. It's gonna love life here. Oh my god, you did not. Oh my god, that's the Pothos Shangri-La that I've been wanting so badly. Kelly, that is such a surprise you put it at the bottom of the box for me. I'm unwrapping this one right now. This one I will not forget who it is because this plant has been on my wish list forever and a day. Mm -hmm. And Kelly, you are the most amazing person on YouTube right now, in my opinion, because of what you just sent me and how happy you just made this old man. I appreciate you so much. Oh my God, look at them. Look at that. I bet they got killer roots too, because it's just a pothos. Oh, she just, oh, it's got roots started. Oh, and it's attached to the paper towel. Let go, mama. Look at that. Doesn't want to let go. It grew some roots on the way, which is awesome. Oh my goodness. There, I got it off. Oh my goodness. That is so beautiful. I think that's almost completed my, uh, here, you can go with that because I know what you two are for sure. Oh my God, I cannot get over that. This is just the coolest leaves. I know it looks like it's sick, but to me it looks sick in a better way and kind of a cool way. Oh, I just love it. It's growing new leaves. Oh my gosh, Kelly, I'm so excited. Oh, what's this little guy? La Jolla Fuwensi. The leaf is really pretty. It looks like it got a little bit burnt, but that's okay. We don't discriminate around here. La Jolla Miniaris. That's cute. Oh, chunky, chunky leaves. I love a chunky leaf. It's a nice one. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Kelly, Kelly, you just exploded my Hoya collection. This is cute, too. What is that? <gasps> Fry ducks. Oh my gosh, this one's kind of sought after. All right. And that looks like that's everybody in the box. Holy cow, Kelly, you made my day. Thank you so much. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and put this all away. All right, thanks.
All right, gang, well, I got everything put into water, the propagation box that needs to go where it is. I counted a total of 15 plants here that Kelly sent me, none of which, no, I take that back, there's two, and that's the philodendrons, I do have both of those. So that's 13 plants she sent me that I don't have or didn't have in the past, but I have now. Um, the only one I really need to look into is this pepperon Peperomia incana. She said she had a little bit of trouble getting it rooted. I see a little bit of root on it. Do you guys have any suggestions? Put them in the comments below on how I should maybe try to propagate this up. Should I cut up and let the nodes grow? Should I take the leaves off? What should I do with that? Some of these other Hoya uh, that she gave me are actually quite well rooted. Like this here, for example, the uh, Patisii um, is quite well rooted. So what I'll probably do is for a day or two, just kind of let it acclimate, like I said, to the Las Vegas environment. And then I'll go ahead and decide who gets potted up and who's just going to sit in propagation. So for right now, I'm just going to say once again, oh my gosh, thank you so much, Kelly. This has made me the most happiest person in the entire world. These two plants have eluded me for quite some time now, and they're quite elusive in Las Vegas. So uh, thank you so much. I will give my best care to both of them and hopefully uh, have plenty to share with friends in the future. Kelly, I thank you so much, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, say goodbye at this point and say thank you all for viewing. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing around here. Let me know what's going on. And uh, yeah, all right. Have a good one, guys.